Max, hmm, okay, interesting. Uh, it, it says here you worked for the Underground University Union. What, what exactly did you do for them? Oh, that's whenever I was in college. I developed a program to um, uh, introduce voting bots against our uh, student council campaign members. I have no idea what you just said. I see you have computers here. Yeah, well, this is a cafe. Have you ever worked in a cafe before? No, but I drink lots of coffee. I'll bet that's true. You, you know what? I will be. I'll be in contact with you. Thanks for coming in and filling out an application. Thank you. And and uh, it, it's great. Great to have you. And we'll let you know as soon as we make a decision. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Wow. These applicants are getting stranger and stranger. I, you know, all I want is somebody that can wait tables and do a little tech work. That, that's all I want. And, uh, you know, quite honest, I, I, I don't think it's, it's going to be happening. I'm getting a little worried. Uh, I mentioned to you a few weeks ago that we needed to have everyone hired, remember? I know, I know, um, I know. Okay, listen. I wrote a business plan for the cafe. I think it's really, really going to help and make you feel a lot better. Well, you know, I, I understand. You know, this isn't the first business I've owned. But, okay, I, I'll take a look at it. Okay, right, but remember, you were on the mission field for six years, and a lot's changed since then. So, listen, why don't I get these guys set up, grab a spreadsheet, and we'll talk about Tech guys here, got everything under control. Hey, good to see you, man. Hey, Tim, how are you? Glad to have is one of our actual tables and chairs that people can come and sit in during the program. It's very nice. It's very nice. We've got nice wooden chairs and a nice slate table and Mary Ann Skibar, our, our, our set designer, picked all this stuff out and we've got a bunch of them so you can come and you can join us. Ooh, they can be here live when we tape. Yeah, they can be here when we tape. Like and actual cafe patrons. Yes, and, and you know what? We even have, we'll have coffee for them. We'll have cappuccino, espresso, lattes for them. We might have a muffin or two for them just because they're coming in to be a part now but you've got to make reservations and the only way to do that is go to www.hisplace.tv that's www.hisplace.tv what is that that's www.hisplace.tv and make your reservation you just type in when you can come the time that you can come because we do this show on tuesdays and tuesday evening so if you're uh, uh, free on a tuesday evening come see us his place You know, I, 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 I've got to get high tech. I've got to stay on top of this stuff. I'm seeing all this stuff. I, I see these guys, you know, like you with the tech guy doing all your stuff with your iPod and your iPad and doing, doing and, and, you know, I'm, I'm fairly tech savvy, but I, I've got to figure out how I can use this stuff. Like I've got, I've got all these employment applications here. I, I want to be able to make everything work together. How's that happen? No problem, Tim. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to show you how you can use the coolest technology, you know, not only to run the business, but also help uh, build your community. How does cool that technology. sound? I like cool yeah. technology. So I you like probably toys. already know that you can take everything that's on your computer and go ahead and transfer it onto your iPad. Things like your files and your music, your videos, your photos, and all of that stuff. Where's the hard drive? Well, there's no hard drive in that thing. Technology's come quite a long way in the six years since you've been gone. 
Okay. Well, it actually uses flash memory, so there's no moving parts. Okay. So it doesn't make any noise. It doesn't get hot. It's why the battery lasts all day long. Now, uh, it, when when I'm using this kind of stuff, can can I? What I'd like to do. Here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to be able to to take and not have uh, a paper trail at, at all necessarily. I'd like to have everything electronic. Can can I do that kind of stuff? Can I can I like have my my uh, customers check out through this thing? Can can I have my menu on here? Absolutely. I, I mean, I know I've got music on here. Yeah. I've got you know I can I can email people things like that. But yeah. but can I can I do that kind well, of stuff? Well, you know what? I've already thought of that because guess what? I've actually built you an app. So not only can the customers look and see what's on the menu at the cafe, but they can just tap what they want, and then Marcus is going to be able to cook it in the kitchen. Cool. And then when they're done, you can go up with your smartphone and you can just type in their credit card number and that's how they can pay. Excellent. And a little Excellent. later on today, I'm going to actually hook up some speakers here. So if you want to play some music in the cafe, you can actually control the music right from the iPad. Well, I think we need to work on the network, too, because it's a little little slow, a little backed up. Don't and, worry, and I've so got that covered. <coughs> I'm going to install another router. Uh, pardon me. Uh, Tim, do you, have, do you have a second? Uh, uh, you know, I'll have some coffee and you even use <laughs> you know, one of the new mugs. I, I, I appreciate that, but we're not open yet, Phil. I know, it's just taking so long. I mean, just just give me a second, okay? Uh, I, I got lots of stuff to do. I got, I got Sean here. He's helping me out. for one second? Okay, thank you. Okay, excuse me. So, so what's up, Phil? I mean, what's going on? Well, no, I'm, I'm sorry to bug you, but I just wanted to talk to you about this business idea that I have. I, I, I can't. I, I mean, there, it's just, there's just no way. I, I, I can't have anything to do with it. You don't even know what the idea is. I know, Tim. but look what's going on here. I, I, I can't handle another thing with, with trying to get this place up and running. You don't want to do it because of the old IRS investigation, right? Phil, I, I've seen the news, read in the newspaper, all the stuff about the IRS, but... Yeah, that's not it. Really, honest. Yeah, I bet. Come on, when have I ever lied to you? Not that I know of. Yeah, I, I've never done. Honestly, I've got so much on my plate right now that there, there's just not one more thing I can do. Come on, you can trust me. I, to be honest with you, I really don't know who I can trust right now. I mean, this thing really actually kind of has me worried a little bit, Tim. I, I, I don't know what to do. Come on. How long have we known each other? I mean, you've, you've been you've been next door, it seems like, all my life. And <laughs> we've gone through a lot of thick and thin together. We're friends. You can trust me. Okay? Everybody needs to have one good friend in their life. And and I'm yours. And listen, why don't you why don't you just do this? Why don't you sit down and I'll get Abby to get you a cup of coffee and, and we can just you can just relax and chill out, okay? Now I'll talk to you a little bit later. Okay, right. just just kind of relax. All right. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's happening, young man? Hey, Tim. Long time no see. I know. It's what's been a while. Oh, I'm traveling the world. You're, you're looking for a job, are you? No. You know, because I I, I I could use I could really use some folks. Really? To, oh yeah, yeah. I could really use some folks to to come on. So, why do you keep filming yourself? Because I can see beyond this cafe. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, I have goals and dreams. I mean, what do you dream about? <laughs> Employees who do their jobs. Ah, come on, I'm serious. I mean, I have a YouTube channel, YouTube show, a, sh a cooking show, you know, and I have thousands of subscribers. You know, I'll tell you what, I can even use an assistant. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't think so. Oh. oh, so you're a cook then? Yeah, I attend the culinary school, you know, I'm a chef. And I tinker with computers, electronic gadgets, you know, all that. You know, if you give me a cell number, I'd be happy to help you with any tech questions that might uh, come up, you know. <laughs> You're you want to right. do that alone. Yeah, again, I don't think so. Okay. Well, you, you never answered my question. What question? What do you dream about? Doing a good job. Working hard. Um, helping businesses become a success and launching it has a ripple effect. It, yeah, well, creates jobs and makes me feel good, things like that. You know, my work has a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing joy to the masses and people learn to cook all at the same time. Mm. You know, I can prepare a gourmet dinner for the two of us and we can discuss this further, you know. <laughs> you that oh. low, you know. <laughs> so tempting. <laughs> Let me think about that. Wait, um, no, <laughs> get back to work, Marcus. All right. You know, it's, it, it's really cool. Hey. Abby, this is Hi. John, my good friend John. He just Hi. saw the lights on, decided Hi, to stop by, and, and this Hi. is Abby Lewis. She's trying to get me going. You know the good. way I am. Yeah. You, know? yeah, you need help. Me too. Yeah. Uh, excuse us a second. <laughs> excuse me. Well, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and have a seat? Sure. Thanks. Um, Tim. Yeah. Did you give Marcus permission to be in there filming himself? Just please say you didn't. Filming himself. Well, I, I did tell him that it'd be okay if, when he was on his break, 
or when things were really slowed down that, that he could do it. <laughs> well, that sank in. Oh, come on. What, what, is he, what is he really hurting? Things are coming together. You're doing a great job. Well, thanks, but I feel like I'm the only one doing a job. Oh, come on. Don't feel that way. You know, and be confident. Everything's going to work out fine. And by the way, look, look who stopped by. Oh, great. Yeah. That brightened my day. Tim, business plan. Business plan, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm anxious to show Tim my business plan for the cafe. You know, I could really, really use something like that for shenanigans. How about, I got an idea. You come on over, I'll buy you a drink, and we can sit down and you can discuss how you can make a business plan for shenanigans. <laughs> Gee, I don't know how I would write a business plan for someone who's in trouble with the IRS. You know, I told you not to believe everything you read. It is a misunderstanding. It's, I mean, it, it's, it's a... It's, it's a, 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 a felony. It's, yeah, thanks. You know what? Actually, it's a misdemeanor. Mm. So much for trusting people. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, someone who takes their job seriously. I never thought I'd say this, Joe, but I think you and I are kindred spirits. What's the matter, Abby? It doesn't look like you're having a good day. You know what? I'm not. I can't seem to get anyone motivated. Everyone just wants to gab with old friends. Well, you, you got to understand, Tim's got a lot of catching up to do. He's been gone for quite a while. I mean, people are just happy to see him. I understand that, but I just wish... Why does he have to do it now, is what I'm saying. I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm just a delivery guy. You know, I get a delivery it's, stuff. It's been, it seems like it's forever since I've seen you. I know. Well, I'm working with uh, Discipleship Training Schools and mm -hmm. training more people to be missionaries. Just now, like now we've you, been you doing go all that. over the place. Where were you at last time? Uh, I was just in Mexico City a few months ago. Mexico and, City? Uh, Did you, were you able to breathe down there? Yeah. We had a great time. We had a small team, but we had uh, over a thousand salvations. And we got to do a lot of really cool things and work with local churches there. And uh, a lot of people's lives got changed. That's cool. I, I love Mexico. The Me Mexican people, you know, they, they, they have this reputation in some parts of the United States of, of being lazy and things like that. But they're industrious. They work hard. They, you know, they, they, they struggle to, in, to make ends meet. They love their families. They care for their families uh, just, just like everybody else. Yeah. So they were receptive to what, what did you guys do to share the gospel? What, were you making stages? Were you doing dances? What were you doing? Well, we, we typically do dances and dramas to, just to attract a crowd or pretty much anything to draw people's attention so that they can hear the gospel whenever we go out and share in small groups and so we go to neighborhoods or um, just outside of school so as soon as the kids come out we're ready to to share with them was your life ever threatened did you ever feel like um it's it's been threatened before but not really something that it's a uh, well, it's worth it for Jesus. It doesn't really matter. I'm still here. You know, when you're, when you're out on the edge like that, I, I kind of feel like, it, you know, it's, it's real strange. But opening up his place again is, is kind of like putting me back on the edge. I got kind of comfortable being out there on the field and, and being out there with, with various things that were going on in life in, in all the different countries. And, and being here in this place is, is kind of like, hmm, this is a little on the edge for me, again, it was, it was comfortable when, when I had the diner, and now, his place, his place. The other day, I was driving through one of my favorite areas, construction zones. I don't know if they drive you crazy, but they drive me crazy. And there was this particular construction zone where every, everyone was supposed to go to the left, and there were a few cars that were going off to the right. They were really confused because the signs were, were saying different things, and, and there wasn't really a clear direction. You know, life can be just like that. We don't know necessarily where we're supposed to go without some kind of direction. The good thing is, is that God offers direction to you. He says the plans that he has for you are for a future and for a hope. Plans for your good and not for your destruction. The way to get to know those plans is to get to know him better. Through his place, we're trying to do that and trying to help you understand that. But if you have questions and you have difficulties that you're walking through, we'd like to help you. Contact us here at his place at feedback at his place dot TV, and we'll be glad to answer you and send you out some information that'll help you along your way so you won't get lost and won't get confused in the construction. Hi, I'm Hank Aaron. After playing the major leagues for over 20 years, I've developed arthritis in my knees, a painful condition 
that affects more than 10 million Americans. I've dealt with aches and pains in my career, but this knee pain really made it difficult to do the things I love. It was embarrassing after being active for so long. I talked with my doctor, and now I want you to join me in the fight against arthritis at TeamHank.com. Don't let knee pain keep you off the field. Find out how you can fight back against knee pain at TeamHank.com. To find out more about osteoarthritis or to join Hank in the fight against knee pain, that website again is TeamHank.com. Some of these people are like stalkers. I mean, they're coming out of the woodwork. Oh, come on. Are you going to say that about all the old customers coming in to see Tim? I mean, besides, you're here all the time. Yeah, but I come here for the sparkling conversation. Why do you come here? To make deliveries, remember? Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I noticed you were talking to Abby earlier. Yeah, I always talk to Abby. You know why? Because she likes talking to me because I own my own business and I, I'm a hard worker. Hey, well, I own my own business, too. <laughs> yeah, until the IRS takes it away. You know, that is totally a misunderstanding. Why doesn't anybody believe me? I want to know why it's a misunderstanding when you owe them money, but when they owe you money, it's a refund. Joe Mansky, we finally agree on something. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't even know what I said. I'll be doing it. Sorry, bud. Oh, man. Jeez, can you believe that? <laughs> I can't believe it. Abby, come here. Hey, Phil, listen. Seriously, right now, I don't have time for this. Get your own cup of coffee, brew your own pot. Actually, I did. You know, it would be really great if you would just fill this up for me, please, and, and, and then maybe come back and, and, and we can talk. About what? Well, I, I, would re I was serious when I asked you to come over and help me with a business plan. I could really use the help. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Can't or won't? Um, probably a little bit of both. I don't mean to be unkind. Bill, but really, I have to worry about my reputation working for you. Well, but that's exactly why I want you to come over and help. I mean, people like you and Tim, you guys have great reputations, and, and, and I need to surround myself with people like that. Really? So you need me for the PR? Well, I mean, okay, fine, maybe a little bit, but I mean, I gotta learn from somebody, right? Yeah, but that stuff just doesn't happen overnight, Phil. Exactly okay? my point. You gotta start somewhere. Well, how about this? You do need to start somewhere, but right now, how about you take your coffee? and go over to shenanigans. You can start there. You know what, one, one more cup. That, be you fun. know what, okay, one more cup, and that's it. Hey. Okay, Tim, we really need to do something about Phil. Okay, please, he's being so disruptive. He wants me to drop everything, get him a cup of coffee. It's getting ridiculous. Listen, I, I, I know you're not gonna like this, but Phil is exactly the type of guy that I wanted to open his place for. I mean, it, this is a place where he can come and people just like him can feel welcome and wanted. And after all, is, is a cup of coffee really that disruptive? I don't know. Listen, can you, can you just, just be patient with him? Get him a cup of coffee. He's really going through a lot right now. Okay, I'll try. But again, I need to go through this business plan. No problem. I promise. You know what? I'll, I'll let, me, let me finish up with John, and after that, we'll go through the business plan. Right. Okay? Thank okay. you. Thank you. Is there any particular place you want me to install the router? Uh, usually, my customers like to keep it out of sight. Absolutely. You know what? I've allotted a space for it if you just like to go through there in the office. You know, here's, here's, a, here's my big challenge. Okay, I, I, I came back. I, I've been traveling. I can't even remember where it was. I, I think I, had, I was in, did the Iraq-Moldova trip. And, and I walk into this computer store, and I'm sitting there getting my computer worked on, and I, I said to these college kids, I, I said, hey, you know, what are you, what are you doing? What are you, what are you going to school for? And they listed off their things, and, and uh, this one girl said, well, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to school for, for something like uh, art and literature or something. And I said, oh, what are you going to do with that? And, and she said to me, well, I don't know. You got any ideas? And I said, you know, God has a purpose for your life. Mm -hmm. I, no, I didn't say God. I said, you know what, there is a purpose for your life. And she said to me, she said, you sound like one of those Christians. And I said, well, what's it mean to be a Christian? And she said, oh, those are those people that are miserable and sing those old songs all the time. And I said, well, if that's your definition of Christian, I'm not one. Mm -hmm. and, and, 
and and I proceeded to to talk to her just about relationship, yeah, and and about place in God, and and that God does have a purpose. And and before before I was done, I actually ended up spending an hour talking to five or six. 20-somethings about their purpose and that God had a plan for them. And some of them actually let me pray for them. And it was at that point that I said, you know what? I'm traveling the world. I'm doing all these things. But right here in America, there are people, there's a whole generation that is just as confused about who God is, how much he loves them, Mm-hmm. as anybody overseas. And that's, that's not to take away anything from you or, no, or no. any of my good friends that are, that are traveling around the world. It's just I felt like at that point I had, I had one of those aha moments. And it was like God said, listen, you can reach these kids. Mm-hmm. You can reach these 20-somethings, these 30-somethings, if you just tell them the truth and you let them see it happen as well. Yeah. And it's like, wow, you know, that's cool. That's cool. I can, I can actually make that happen. And, and so I sat down and I said, well, okay, what can I do? Well, what do I know how to do? I know how to open a diner. So uh, I, I thought about that and I s- said, no, you know, where is the place that these 20-somethings and 30-somethings are hanging out? And it's all the coffee shops yeah, coffee across shops. America. So I thought, eh, that's what I'll do. I'll open up a coffee shop. I'll bring a set of a place where they can feel comfortable. They can come in. They can, I can have all the technology. Thanks to Sean, I've got the, all the technology, and things like that are going to come together. And, hey, it's amazing. Your boxes are in the way of my show. What show? My, I'm taping for my YouTube channel, Cooking with Chef Marcus. You know, I'm an Internet star. Get out of town. I'm not kidding. Hey, you want to help? You can be a guest star. Oh, my I, viewers will love it. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, come on. Uh, Okay, how about if you give me that apron to wear? Well, well I only have uh, one. Uh, besides, my uh, clothes are <laughs> nicer than yours, you know? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, well, well nothing. I mean, <laughs> you know, you've been hauling boxes, getting in and out of your truck, you know. Clothes might get a little dirty. You don't need an apron? I mean, who's going to notice? Oh, I guess I can see where you're coming from. So what do I do? Well, do you know how to whisk? Hey, sure, I know how to whisk, okay, man. But... I, you can make scrambled eggs, right? Yeah, yeah great. So... I, I'm, I'm whisking okay. egg whites into, you, what you need to do is whisk it into a stiff peak, uh, stiff peak, peak form. Okay. Is, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, like scrambled eggs, right? Okay, go okay, ahead. Okay, good. Go yeah, crack it. There you go. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. I'm whisking. All right. Where's your camera? Oh, oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, action, man. Go ahead. Spike three. And action. My guest here today is Joe. And he's whisking egg whites into a light and fluffy meringue for my lemon meringue pot. Uh, yeah, okay, Joe, I think that's enough. No, you, hey, maybe I can do that, cut some some uh, lemons up and put it in your pie. I mean, your viewers will eat it up. Get it? Eat it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it, Joe. Put the whisk down. No, hey, listen. Technically, this is uh, his whisk. And listen, the name's spelled M-A-N-S-K-Y. So what? I mean, for the credits at the end of the show. We're not done, are we? I know, I, well, I don't know if this is good or bad, but I know this isn't going to be the last time we're going to be seeing you. So just, you know, just try to do your best to keep me going. And, and uh, I'll stay I, close to my phone, too. Yeah, please, please. Thanks. <laughs> take care. Sean, take care. Sean. Okay. All right, great. Thanks. Bye. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay, so I have Marcus working on the inventory, but I'm cool. thinking that he and Joe are working more on his video than actually doing work, so... How was the interview? Well, you know, I'm, I'm still not really finding anyone that uh, is really wants to do this job. But, you know, I just just keep praying. Hmm. Well, I have something to cheer you up. The business plan for the cafe. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, listen. First, we have to look at the big picture. Let's say we'll start with a five-year plan with variable components and concrete projections. Variable components. And then, if we follow that, then I just virtually guarantee this is going to be a complete success. I, I, I hope you understand this, but could, could you tell me that in English? Okay, well, basically, if we follow this plan to a T, certain things will happen that will make us financially viable and wildly successful. Uh, Abby, to be honest, I kind of feel wildly successful. You, see, his place... 
it's more than than a, a cafe. It's more than a coffee shop. It, it, it's really a ministry, and it, and it's not just. I'm not just talking about the customers that come in, but you know when I think about these people and the missionaries we're able to help around the world. I mean, that's really what my bottom line is. Okay, but Tim, all my stats say if you follow this plan, then you'll be able to support those missionaries. You know, look, if you, if you just look at this column, you have a projection here, okay? Now, if we take that into the I, I, third listen, month... Listen, I appreciate all this hard work, but you know what? Let's, let's just get the cafe rolling, and, and let's see what happens. Okay, Tim, but I have to tell you, frankly, I'm worried. I've never heard of a business being successful without a plan. I, I know this is hard for you, but God has a plan. And you know what? It'll happen. It'll be okay. Okay? <sighs> so, how's the coffee, Phil? Well, you know, it's actually really good. Uh, I, nothing I enjoy more than a fresh cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. Thanks for getting that for me. Well, we're not going to make that a habit, okay? Jeez, you're a little bossy, aren't you? I'm not bossy. <laughs> well, I'm not bossy at all. Yeah. Don't make me come back there. <laughs> yeah, I can see you're not bossy at all. Hey, listen, why don't you uh, take a little break and sit down and join me for a cup? Listen, Phil, I can't work for you, okay? I'm sorry it'll just complicate my life in, in ways I'm not ready to deal with. That, that's okay. Uh, you know, in fact... I'm not talking about working. I'm just talking about two people sitting, enjoying a cup of coffee, maybe getting to know each other and be friends. That's all. Okay. I appreciate that, Phil, but really, look, we have a lot to do. We have a grand opening in a week, remember? Yeah, I know. Do you have any uh, boxes you need help moving? You know what? No, because Joe already took care of all those boxes. Remember? The ones yeah. you were supposed to take out? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm kind of sorry about that. Well, you know what? You should apologize to Joe because he's the one who moved them. If I do, will you have a cup of coffee with me? Okay, you know what? Maybe. And I prefer tea to coffee. Yeah, the lights are on. The door is open. The coffee's strong. Cafe patrons, how you doing, folks? Thanks for tuning in. It is his place back on television after six long years, coming into your rooms, into your televisions, into your living rooms and your homes on a nightly basis. Folks, make sure you stay tuned. There's more coming up, more information, Tim meeting with other people, find out what all the characters are doing, and great conversation at the place where the world comes for food for thought. His place, ladies and gentlemen, back on the air.